Let's solve an equation using integrating factors. So here, the first step is to write this in standard form by dividing by t, and in this case, what we obtain is y prime plus t plus one over ty equals t over t, which is one. And what's the idea behind integrating factors? You want to multiply this by a clever function in order to turn the left-hand side into the Prada loop. What is this clever function? Well, it's as easy as Yelp, because you literally multiply it by e to the integral of p, where p is this function here. So here we get e to the integral of t plus one over t dt, but you can separate out this function to integrate it. So we get e to the integral of one plus one over t, and then that just becomes e to the t plus ln of t. Which we can simplify this, which we'll do in a second, but two remarks are in order. First of all, no absolute value because we're assuming t is positive. Also, you do not need to add plus c because we just want one integrating factor. So one is enough, but we can simplify this a bit further. So then what you get is e to the t times e to the ln of t. And remember, ln is a destroyer of e, so e to the ln of t is just t. So integrating factor here is quite easy. It's t e to the t. And what is this saying? We have to multiply this equation by t e to the t, and then something magical will happen. Okay, so here we had our equation, y prime plus py equals to some junk. Now, let's multiply this by t e to the t. So t e to the t, and then t e to the t. And then what this t cancels out, and the magic of integrating factor, and the reason why this works, is that this whole thing now becomes a derivative. Because what this turns into is t e to the t y prime, and equals to t e to the t. And in fact, you can check this by differentiating. You get t e to the t times y prime plus y times t e to the t, which actually becomes t plus one e to the t. All right, and all we need to do is integrate and then solve for y. So then what we get is t e to the t y equals integral of t e to the t dt. This one is a simple integration by parts. So u is t, dv is e to the t, du is one, and then v is e to the t. And then you draw a z like Zorro. And what you end up getting is t e to the t y equals, so t e to the t minus integral of one times e to the t. So e to the t dt, which then becomes, again, t e to the t y equals t e to the t minus e to the t plus some constant. But then what you can do, you can simply divide by t e to the t, and then you get the following formula for y. I believe y is again, one minus e to the t over t e to the t plus c over t e to the t, which then you can simplify as follows. So this then becomes y is one minus one over t plus c over t e to the minus t. And last but not least, remember to use the initial condition, namely y of ln of two equals one. 
So let's just plug in ln of 2 in this gibberish. So 1 minus 1 over ln of 2. Lots of ln degenerates today. Over c over ln of 2. And then e to the minus t, so 1 over e ln of 2 gives you 1. And then notice the 1 already cancels out. Because you are the 1, but not today. And e of ln of 2, that's just 2. And then essentially what we get, let me see, so 1 over ln of 2 times minus 1 plus c over 2, I think that's what remains, equals 0. But then we can just cancel out this 1 over ln of 2, and we get c over 2 minus 1 equals 0. And you can check this is true if c equals 2. And therefore, what is our solution in this case? Well, it's 1 minus 1 over t plus 2 over t. e to the minus t. How nice is that? So in other words, I want to recap. The magic of integrating factors is that once you multiply by this clever function, e of integral of p, then the left-hand side turns into a derivative using the product rule, which then you can integrate and then you can solve for your function. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.